Okay, what we're going to build today is a safety bucket, they call it, for a skid loader or for a loader for a tractor. We're going to use a quick connect on them, just like a skid loader bucket or forks or ever what you have. We're going to attach it to this safety bucket. I'm building this to trim my queen palm leaves and tree limbs and stuff. And to get you started on it, the size I'm going to make it is approximately 38 by 50 inside dimension. And the reason why, I'm going to use this expanded wire. And this is a chunk that I have. And guess what? It's, it's 50 by 38. So this is the size I'm going to make it. Next, we're going to use all 2x2 two two steel uh, to weld it up. This is going to be the back side, which I already welded up because um, I forgot to start the video. So we got it all welded up. The skid loader plate will go across here, which will be physically welded to these three beams. The outer beams, it's too wide for the skid loader plate naturally. And so it'd be connected to these three beams. The reason why I picked two inch by two inch steel, because a lot of people are going to say, you could have done it by one inch tubing. They're 100% correct. But the reason why I did it is two reasons. First, I overbuild everything. Next, that's what I had on, on my shelf. So that's why I'm using it. So what we're going to end up doing, I cut this steel and already welded this together. But the pieces you need, the pieces you needed on here was seven two by twos at um, 38 inch. You need four 54 inch tubes right here. And then you need 10 36 inch tubes and that's for the up and down. And then for the top rail, you need two 12 inches so that you can slide in the unit and out. The angle, I use two by two angles and you need a grand total of four of those and you needed 41 inches for two and 49 and a half for two more. So that was my supply list. If everything came out right, uh, that's what it should be. So we're going to finish welding this thing up and see if my guess was correct. Okay, what we have done now, we've built up this portion. This portion is the front of the safety cage. We already did the back side already, so this is the front. So now, the next step, we're going to have to put the back down here, stem it up, hook it up to the front and square the box off. So that's what we're going to end up doing next. So this is the back side. It is right here. So we'll get it queued up and show you what it looks like during the next step. Okay, what we're going to build now, this is going to be the door. So it's just an L, two of them, that goes inside the box. Now the box, we got it all tacked together. Okay, here's the box. And what we're going to have, this is the floor that's going to be down here. That wire mesh will go at the bottom. In the back, on these three bars, down towards the bottom, is going to be the skid loader plate. That's the adapter plate for the quick release. It's going to be here. The door, the top rail goes down and then down. That's what we're going to weld right now. And then the top rail hook goes down and then down. And I got an opening of 14 inches to go in the middle. That's the door. It's snug namely for a fat person like me. So I hope that's big enough. 
But at least that's my plans at the moment. I'm going to weld it together. I'm going to weld one and then try the other one. And if my big butt doesn't fit, i got to cut it down and make it a little bigger. So that's the plans. So as soon as I get that welded up and this attached, uh, we'll come back and I'll show you uh, what else I'm going to do. Okay, we got the uh, safety cage built. Now what we're doing, this big chunk of steel that's got a lot of surface rust on it, is the adapter plate for the skid loader. So for the skid loader itself, it just comes up, grabs this chunk of metal, and then it holds onto the front. Everybody knows what an adapter plate is. Uh, if you're into skid loaders or if you have a front loader of a tractor that has the universal adapter plate. So we're going to physically weld this on these points and then on the other side we're going to weld it again and this here will physically hold the safety bucket secure to the unit. I like this idea a lot better in forks. Forks these baskets has known to slide off the set of forks. This here, you can actually take it and turn it sideways and it just stays attached, no problem at all. So this is the way to go. We're going to weld this up. And then after we weld this up, I'll show you how. Oh, and then we got to put the floor in, which is just the expanded wire. We put it in and we just tack weld it. So we'll put that on too. So that's going to be in the next section. Okay, we have the safety basket all built up. This plate here is for the skid loader attachment. Everything's welded up and everything's ready to go. It weighs approximately 300 pounds. This plate here uh, is about $110 off of Amazon uh, by the quarter inch plate. And the rest of it weighs about close to 200 pounds. It ended up be about $325, the to total thing complete. Okay, we're going to start hooking it up to the skid loader. Okay, we're in the skid loader now. And we're going to hook up to the plate. Now I got to put the safety arms down on the plate. Okay, we have the safety arms. So as you see, you can lift it straight up with a person in there. All the way up. So that makes it a lot easier and a lot safer. Now if you sit there and lower it down, say if this thing was a, um, a forklift style safety basket. If you lower it down like this, guess what? The whole basket just fell on the ground if that pin slipped from the basket. This here is physically attached. Hey, okay? yeah, I mean you can turn this down all the way like that. The passenger would be uh, kind of pissed off, but you can do it. And we can level it right back out. And there you are. So that's it. One project down. I'll be painting this. I got one more item I got to uh, build. As soon as I get done with that, I got, uh, I'm going to paint it then. I'll be painting the other two. So thank you for watching. So see you in the next project. 
Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel, that would help us out. Thank you.